In seven short days, the first round of the NCAA Regional Tournament hosted by Eagle Eye Golf Club in Bath will have teed off. 13 Division I men's golf programs will be roaming the course, which includes Michigan State. And as our Ian Crest shares, the Spartans are reaping the benefits of being the host. While 12 other teams are making travel plans for mid-Michigan, Michigan State is chilling at Eagle Eye. Getting the driver cars in here and kind of be on your time and just knowing the golf course, everything I think is going to be moving in a lot slower for us and not feel as much pressure just because we play it all the time. It's just going to feel like it's another day out here. Besides Wednesday, the Spartans will play Eagle Eye every day this week leading up to Sunday's official practice round, which isn't bad considering the 12 other teams won't arrive until the weekend. Definitely in the postseason too, it's a little more difficult just for people to show up, play one practice round, and then probably one of the biggest tournaments of the year. It's a little less stress on us, I would say, knowing the golf course. Now, the thing about the college golf season, there aren't many chances, if any, for Michigan State to play in the state of Michigan, and it's why. Getting the chance to host a regional here at Eagle Eye is something they're looking forward to because they want to play in front of the hometown fans. This program has been built along with our women's program through the generosity of so many people who actually never get to watch us play. Right, um, and sometimes we don't even know if we're playing. It's not like basketball or football. I know quite a few of my friends and family friends have said they're going to come out, so I think the support's going to be really cool, and I think it's just going to be a good test of golf over the three days. With MSU being the 10 seed in the regional, the top seed is Illinois, who is fresh off its eighth straight Big Ten title. In Bath, Ian Cress, Six Sports. Well, thank you, E. The course itself at Eagle Eye is essentially in summer shape a few weeks earlier than normal this year. Along with the NCAA moving the pins, they are also converting some of the holes. For example, the ninth hole, which is a par five, is going to be changed to a long par four. Luke Toady is the director of golf at Eagle Eye, and he's been working very closely with Michigan State and the NCAA to make sure the course is in tip-top condition because he knows the kind of talent that's coming to town next week. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, we looked at some of the amateur world golf rankings, and I think it's six of the top 24 players in the in the world uh, will be here. So it's it's pretty exciting. All of us um, staff members here at Eagle Eye, we're really proud and uh, proud of the way the golf course looks right now, as well as um, hosting a great championship like this. And if anyone wants to come out and watch, it's free admission. Um, the NCAA is just asking that you stay on the cart paths and out of the way of the players. You know, this is a, a championship for them, but it, it's going to be some awesome golf to watch.